Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I had to come off the live and come back because my connection was horrible. And so I'm praying and hoping that my connection is a lot better now. And so what I was sharing is, and so I decided to really step up my game to really take my weight loss journey um, serious. I'm getting ready to go on my cruise. So that gives me a little bit of motivation. And so what I'm really going to do in the next 10 days is I'm going to lose 10 pounds. And my big, big tip on what I'm going to do to be able to lose those 10 pounds is... I'm going to stay off the scale. Yes, that's right. I'm telling you that I'm going to lose 10 pounds in 10 days. And I'm not going to get on the scale. This is why, guys. I don't know about y'all, but I know that when I get on the scale, if I'm doing really good, hey, Sakina Love, if I'm doing really good, next thing you know, I'm rewarding myself. You know, you did good. Have a Snickers, you know. Or if I don't do really good, then I find myself in a funk. And so, I'm just, I set my plans. Um, I'm doing low carb, watching my calories, taking my, my liquid lipo, of course. Um, exercising and so forth. And so, I'm going to do all of those things. And I'm going to trust in myself. I'm going to trust in myself and I'm going to stay off the scale because I do not want to get on the scale. I did see it dropping, dropping, dropping and then I get too excited or I do not want to get on the scale and it don't drop immediately and then I'm upset. And so, hey, man. And so what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to stay off the scale. And so you can follow me inside my group. I've been sharing different little information like I just got done eating me a snack. I had me an apple. And some almond butter. And when I tell you that apple and the almond butter was like everything at the right time. I have my little crystal light fruit water that I'm drinking. I'm still doing my hydrations. Um, for breakfast, I had um, tilapia and spinach for breakfast. And so, watching my carbs, guys. Taking my liquid lipo every morning. And I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop it. I know um, on the scale. The last time I got on the scale, it was, it, it goes back and forth between 367, 370. And so I want to see on the scale um, before I get ready to go on my cruise, which is January the 21st. I want to see on the scale. I really want to see 359. 350, 350, as long as I see 359 on the scale, but see, I'm like, if I'm at the 370, then that's 11 pounds. But if I'm at the 367, then that's not quite my 10. But however, my goal is, let me see 359. 359 on the scale, I haven't seen that number in years, 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 like high school years. And so, I'll be more than proud for that to be my next goal set. Now, the ultimate goal, you know, at first my ultimate goal was 220. But then, I see a few people, now everybody carry their weight different. I see a few people that weigh 220 and I'm like, I want to be a little bit smaller. And so, now I'm saying 180. Lord, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Um, but the goal is to really get serious and to really... Um, to really give it my all and to really work on it. And so that's the big, big tip, guys. Um, I'm doing I'm doing the low carbs. I'm taking my liquid lipo. I'm exercising, drinking my water. But the biggest, biggest tip is I'm staying off the scale. I don't know about y'all, but I know for me, when I get up on that scale, Destiny, I don't know about you, but when I get on that scale, it, like... If I do good, I get too excited. If I don't do good, now I'm sad and I'm depressed. And then I'm just like, what the hell? I might as well eat whatever I want to. And so, yes, yes, it's true. Every Everybody carries the weight different. And so, I um, I really don't know. At, at In fifth grade, I was 200 pounds in fifth grade. And, like, it just kept going up. At 13, I was 309 pounds. Um, at like 21, I was 394 pounds. 
um, at my highest, I got up to 515 pounds. And so, like, I have no clue. Like, I've always been at least 100 pounds heavier than what they say. They say I should be, and so I have no clue. But originally, my goal it was just a number that was just thrown out there it was 220. Um, but like I said, I saw a few people that's 220, and I'm like, hmm, I might want to be a little bit smaller than them. But I don't, I don't desire to be really small either. But then a part of me is like, I just want to be able to say I did it now. Like I'm just excited and want to be able to say I did it. And so, all right, guys, I'm not going to hold you any longer. Um, I'm in my group. I'm posting daily. Um, I'm going to post more pictures of the food. One mom. Hey, can y'all be quiet, please? I'm so used to being able to push mute and be like, one moment, push mute, and then yell at them. There's no mute to push, so I just got to yell. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, but, but so in my group, in the Fab Word group, you can go there and you can find me in the Fab Word group. Um, I'm posting more things about my eating and the different little things that I'm doing. So come join me there. Of course, you'll see them on my wall, but I, I don't know. I like it all localized and we can share and motivate each other, guys. It's like, will you work together at losing your weight and, and reaching your goals? Like, it just makes things better like different people can share different recipes different people can be real and until like i spoke with one young lady right before um i got on the live and she asked me you know how i was doing i'm like i went back and forth on hmm should i be for real how i'm doing because i'm like i'm hungry <laughs> but share those different things like that like so people who's losing weight won't be like who's trying to do it and not successful won't be like well damn clarissa losing weight and everything just it's just falling off no guys it's not <laughs> it's not just falling off i'm over here i just ate me some some apples and and peanut butter because my sugar tooth which i have so bad of a sugar tooth was was um was kicking in and so you know, when we all get together and we share those different little things, then other people learn. Oh, so because I'm dieting and I still have a sweet tooth, it doesn't mean that I'm doing something wrong. It just means that I have to continue to push through it. Yes, my love. Yes, my love. We all have our struggle. Let me tell y'all. The struggle is real. And when you still got a hundred something pounds that you're trying to lose like you can't you can't keep getting distracted every time the scale doesn't tip the way you want to tip or if you decide that you wanted to eat salads only and then you ate something wrong like when you have so much that you have to lose like you you can't let the little stuff get you so down like you you have no choice but to keep pushing because if you let the little things keep you down like you'll never reach your big goal and that's why I share and sometimes I get on and I try to also share my struggles, not for a pity party. Like, I don't want a pity party. I share my struggles to let people know, like, it comes with the territory. You know, I share my stories to let you know that it, come, it comes with the territory. If you're feeling this certain feeling, you're not the only one feeling it. That's the feeling that you need to feel to be able to hit your next level. And so, you know, I just encourage all you guys to just keep pushing, keep doing it, and to motivate each other. Get inside the groups, fab work especially, but get inside the groups. Share your share your um your challenges, but put it in a positive aspect. You know, we don't like I said, we don't want to turn it into a pity party. I can't do this, I can't we don't want to turn it into that. But we do want to let people know that the things that we're doing are real and that we feel we have real effects like i felt like i was cranky today you know and, <laughs> and it might be because i'm like i want to eat this and i'm trying to be disciplined and so these different things they're real guys and so share them inside the group share your meals on what you're eating like um toya she put some some tuna up in the group and when i tell you that tuna looked like it was everything made me want some tuna that tuna looked so good um 
And so what, whatever recipes that you have, share your recipes, exercises that you're doing, share your exercising. Like you might, you might um, be exercising and have bad knees and you found a way to do this one exercise. Like um, I call myself doing my burpees sometime and most people, when they hear of burpees, they're like, uh, nope. Not going to do it. But I found a way to modify it. Even at my 370 pound self. I found a way to modify it. To where my arms can still support my body weight. Now. That may be motivation to somebody else. To say okay. Let me try. Let me try. I never knew we can do it that way. Let me try. You know. And so. Share your success. Um, share Share your almost successes i don't want to call them failures because those those things that we don't do good at is how we know to correct the things that we need to do to make it better and so like i don't know if i said that how i meant it in my head but basically it's like what i'm saying is oh thank you lashima thank you um shanita um sakina thank you so much you know what what i'm trying to say is in life, everything is not just uphill. You know, sometime in life, we come down, you know, and when we're down, it's time to evaluate how we got down, how we feel when we down, and take that, that thing to keep us going back up. And so, instead of us looking as a, a down, as a failure, it's actually a learning stone. And so, if you found, let's put that in diet in terms. And found that you was dieting and you was like, I'm not going to eat any sweets and I'm going to do vegetables and I'm going to do my proteins and I'm going to kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Two hours in, you have a Snickers bar. <laughs> Don't look at it as a failure. Maybe go back and think about it. Okay, I know that I've been eating candy bars every day for the last two years and then now all of something i'm telling myself i'm not going to eat any candy bars maybe you have to reevaluate it maybe say okay let me replace my snickers with something that tastes similar and that's healthier or maybe say okay you know what i'm gonna have this snickers bar and i'm gonna cut it in half either i'm gonna put half away for tomorrow or i'm gonna share i'm a big believer in sharing but however i'm sharing with the kids now they the one getting fat and so but um but find just find find something to make it work for you. And so just because you did not hit that goal that you were supposed to do, it's okay. Go back and rework it so that your goal fits you and not somebody else. Because a lot of times, that's what we do. We see somebody else goes and we're like, oh, you walking 10 miles today? I'm going to walk 10 miles every day too. And But you don't like to walk. So hi. What's going to keep motivating you to walk 10 miles a day because somebody else is doing it when you don't enjoy walking at all, you know? And so don't make your goals for somebody else's goals. You get, you, I hope y'all get what I'm saying. I didn't turn this video into, it was supposed to be about me staying off the scale. So if anybody that just tuned in, my, my big reveal, my big hint that I'm doing, that what I'm going to do to lose these 10 pounds is I am, I'm watching what I'm eating. Going back to the basics, taking my liquid lipo every day, um, making sure I get my exercise and things in. But I'm staying off the scale. On the scale, we tend to get deterred. And um, whether if it's good or bad, it tends to throw us off or either... You think the scale is misleading. Like it is, the scale is just so misleading. And I know I used to be the type of person um, that had a really bad. Where I promise y'all, I would get on that scale like three times in one day. Three times in one. Like, what you did to lose? <laughs> <laughs> to change that much but you had to get on there three times in one day I don't know what I did it got so bad y'all and then I'm gonna get ready to go it got so bad that I had the kids getting on the scale <laughs> a couple times a day you know Tyler, Tyler would go run <laughs> go run around the house and then come back and get on the scale <laughs> and so now I just I just keep the scale up under the couch and, and I try to stay away from it. I'm paying attention to my non-scale victories, how my clothing's fitting, um, how I feel, my energy, um, 
inches if that's again with the clothes you know just those those different non scale victories like i said i scrolls into a pair of 18 pants um yesterday saturday now the pants they were tight they were like stretchy material um, from Walmart, they were a size 18 pants, and so I know if it was a pair of jeans, like, forget it, it wanted clothes. But, the point is, is in 5th grade, I was a size 20 or 22 in 5th grade. And your girl got on, I don't care if they were stretched to the fabric was about to fall apart. <laughs> I got in them. <laughs> it actually... When I got in them, it wasn't it wasn't that bad. Like I really I, I could have wore them. I could have rocked them. Um, but I I felt I had a muffin top like the shirt that I wanted to wear with it. Um, the way the shirt fit, like it fit tight and then it flared, and then the pants was tight and the bulge was so I had too much muffin top going on. Like sometimes, also. We have to just simply find the clothes that fit our body and it can look like you lost some weight just because your clothes fit you a certain type of way. And so, you know, pay attention to your clothing, pay attention to how it looks. Look at it. Look in the mirror. Don't don't be, you know, too judgmental on yourself and so forth. But find the clothes that fits your body frame and that'll help you. I always tell ladies, get you a good bra. When the girls are sitting up high, the higher your girls sit, the smaller your stomach look. <laughs> And so get you a good bra and so forth too. And so I'm not gonna keep ranting. I appreciate all, all you guys so much for watching my videos, watching my lives, the different messages that I get in my inbox, um, encouraging me to keep going and thanking me for, for helping you guys. Like I just truly try to treat people how I wanna be treated. And so you know, I just thank you. I thank you all. We're going somewhere big with this soon real soon y'all so y'all stay tuned love you love you all speak to you later feel free to share this video thank you lashima feel free to share this video follow me on all the different little platforms and everything love you talk to you later bye bye